Hi guys, I thought I'd better do this introduction to this project because what we're looking at here is the end product which is not what I intended to do at the beginning. What we have here is a leaf spring made up of several leaves of spring steel taken from a tape measure and that's the power source to power this car. There's not a build video here, you'll have to look in the video description. Um, there's a link to the original build video because this original car was a rubber band powered car designed to carry a one pound weight for a certain distance. But it's a convenient basis to do this conversion on. So now we will get into the original video. Hi guys. This is one of those videos inspired by one of the comments on one of my existing videos. I uh, recently published the video where I do a teardown on this tape measure. And one of the comments was basically throw it away because the spring return mechanism is broken. In fact, it's only the plastic clamp that holds the spring return mechanism in place that's broken. The actual steel ruler itself, or steel measure, is still perfectly alright. And as long as I push it back in, I can still use it as a ruler, as a tape measure. But what I wondered was whether I could use the spring return that's inside, which is a bit springier than that, whether it would be strong enough to actually power this X rubber band powered car. I did a video recently, which I don't think has been published yet, using this, which is a wreath hanger. You hang it on your door and you hang a festive wreath on there. And that's nice and springy. So I used that to power this car, put a bit of string on it, wrap the string around the back axle, and as that springs back up again, it's got enough power to drive the car forwards. So the question is, if I take this apart again, will the spring inside be strong enough to do something similar? Now I have done a car powered by the spring in there when it's retracting this ruler, because just the retraction is enough to drive the car. But what we want to do this time is see if there's anything we can do, as I say, with the metal spring that's actually inside. So I need to take this off first, and it will come off quite easily. Right. So I'm wondering whether either that part of the spring is strong enough which doesn't feel terribly strong. I don't know if we can do anything. And we could pull that out and let it all spring out. I wonder if that's strong enough, that bit. I don't really want to take the whole thing out because <laughs> then I've got to deal with it somehow as it's springing around on the floor. I'll see if there's some way I can sort of clamp this together so it doesn't come undone and at the same time get it there. Yeah. So that's what I'll do without that coming all the way out. I'll put tape around it or something to stop it all coming out and just work on the end bit of it. Right, I'm not trying to pretend this is a practical modification or adaption. But that's the spring out the middle. And a bit of string to go around the back axle. 
Ah, that was a bit sharp. It actually cut through my bit of string. Okay. Uh, you may be able to hear that it's raining hard outside. Sorry about that. I can't control the weather. But that is one reason why we're in here, not outdoors. Okay, bent paper clip. My bit of string's getting shorter. Huh. Um, hmm, that's going to be a problem. Getting over there. Flip the car over. And try again. Make it. Yeah. Okay, so not practical in any way, shape or form, but I did make some use out of the uh, broken pieces. Now one of the other suggestions, which I'm not going to do, is from one of the guys who does proper model work, and he was thinking of using this spring metal for leaf springs for scale models so uh, you know, you put lots of them together like the old-fashioned um, leaf springs on cars and lorries so that's probably a more practical use for them it was just a matter of do we throw it away or do we save it um, I'll probably never make leaf springs with it, but I may find some other use for springy metal like that. So I'm not actually going to throw it away. And the same goes for that. In fact, if I put it all back together, as I showed you at the beginning, it still works as tape measure. It just doesn't spring back in place. You have to push it back in. Just in case you're wondering, I did give it a try with just the uh, tape measure part of the... Uh, tape measure <laughs> this stuff which is thinner than the other spring and it it works a bit but it's not as powerful obviously what you could do is you could cut this up into lengths and then you could try different um, permutations have two or three or four layers until you get one that's strong enough to do what you need. But as this is still useful to me at the moment, I'm not going to cut it up. Although it is very, very tempting. That's all you need to do is just Cut it into lengths and use it as a multi-layer or multi-leaf spring. I was thinking about what I was saying about saving it because it was still useful. And then I remembered what I said, it only cost me a pound anyway. So what I'm doing now is dividing it up into 12 inch lengths. And I found that if I fold them absolutely flat like that it breaks nice and easily so so I'm cutting it into one foot lengths or 12 inch lengths or whatever that is in centimeters so we'll try a multi-layer leaf spring well, I've got to say, this has suddenly become far more interesting. 
what we have here is multiple leaves now and I've had to keep adding them until I've got enough strength or enough power stored energy to make the car move. I think I've got five leaves now. One, two, Five or six. I'll try that again. Ah, push them sideways, that's easier. Right, we've got five in total at the moment, and that's given me just enough power to propel the car along the kitchen floor. Now, what we've got as it goes along there, it's held in place or held flat by those two pegs and it goes through the slot there and under here it's bent back and held in place by this bit of tape. The actual power or the springy bit is where it bends there. That's where all the energy is really and as I say I've got it up to five now and it goes the full length of the kitchen but I'll just show you how I can add add another one quite easily so we measure out a foot and conveniently being a tape measure it's got measurements on it yeah that's six foot mark so Yes, I've used five so far. If I bend it over at right angles and then crush it, it actually breaks. Nice, clean break. Obviously a bit sharp, but nice and clean. And then on here, if I can hold it so you can see it, if I just lift some of them up so I've got a gap, I can actually slide that straight in and if I slide it along it actually goes round the bend I just hit the camera didn't I but yeah it goes round the bend all the way in in fact I've just pushed the other ones in a bit as well so I need to pull them back out so that's now going to be even stronger with six in there the length that you leave sticking out makes quite a difference as well. That's the leverage. If you make it too long, then it loses power. I'm not going to try and do the maths to explain that. But yes, if it's too long, it loses power. So, But you do get a longer distance of travel. So somewhere between the two, you need to get enough distance of travel to give you the distance wrapped around your back wheel to give you the uh, distance on the floor but if it's too long there's not enough power to actually turn the wheels so we'll give that a try now with six so I'm going to push that in a bit further now and get some of that back Remember those edges are going to be sharp. So there's our bend. Ready to chase it with the camera. works. 
Uh, I would go back the other way, but I've got all sorts of stuff in the way because I haven't been very tidy in my work. Let's see if we can go back the other way. <laughs> that was a tease, wasn't it? Looked like it was going to stop. So yeah, that's a leaf spring powered car now. Hadn't intended to do that. Got a bit carried away, but I'm glad I did. So that was making use of a broken steel tape measure. And we got multiple leaves for our spring. And as I say, check out the video description for the original build. Because it was built for something completely different. A rubber band powered car that had to carry a pound weight. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there. <laughs>